I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Biscuiteers for those of you who don't know about it. We're actually an online gift company. Um, we make handmade iced collections of biscuits uh, to send in the post. Um, it's a concept uh, which we launched in September 2007. Um, it started, a bit like James, with an idea, really. Um, I thought that there was a gap in the market for gift food. Um, I'd noticed that a lot of people were giving me gifts of food, and often the same sort of things and the same sort of brands. Um, gifting is a problem for a lot of people, and therefore it, I thought it was potentially an opportunity for us. Um, my background at that time was that I had been director of consumer brands at a PR agency, and I just left that business after 10 years, and my husband runs a catering company. So I suppose that was why I was kind of thinking in the, the direction of food, and our, our combined experience seemed to sort of set us up quite well to, to give us a go. Um, I'd also worked quite extensively in the e-commerce sector, so I was kind of, what I really wanted to do was to see whether I could create my own e-commerce brand. Um, what we wanted to do was to create a biscuit gift business online that was completely different from anything that was in the market at that time. So handmade biscuits that would also look as fantastic as they tasted. Um, and biscuits that people would want to talk about. Sort of biscuits that were witty and engaging and were very much targeted at an adult audience. Um, we also knew that if we were going to run a successful gift business, it had to offer exceptional delivery and service. Because above all, we started very much with the ambition of kind of creating a brand. And I think that informed a lot of the ways in which we uh, approached it. We modelled the idea, um, as you'd have gathered from our strapline, and to some extent the pricing of it on the flower business. So although obviously we are a food business, we are coming at it very much from the perspective of the, the gift market and the size of the gift market. Um, and that, that strapline, why send flowers when you can send biscuits instead, was actually brilliant. And I have to say, oddly created by Perry, <laughs> who's going to feature again in this because he also did our packaging and uh, branding. Um, so, and I, but I think it really helped us to co communicate the vision of a sort of unique, um, original and engaging gifting experience in a very, very simple way. Um, biscuits are really great things. Obviously, we love biscuits, but they're also incredibly flexible in terms of the designs you can make out of them. Um, and they've got great shelf life and you can post them, which are obviously all really critical things when we were thinking about how to develop a sort of gifting business in the kind of food sector. We made lots of sort of early decisions. Um, the, the main one of which I think was to position Biscuiteers as a very aspirational brand, um, which in my mind was always closely aligned with the fashion sector, um, and to invest in really lovely packaging and a, web, and, and a great website. So we called our biscuits collections of biscuits right from the outset. Um, and the idea was that we were going to launch them seasonally, just like a fashion brand which not only was about customer engagement, but also really helped to drive the marketing and the PR and the awareness. We also decided quite ambitiously at the time that we would offer same day dispatch for all orders placed before one o'clock. Um, we were lucky in that we were the first to market in the UK in this area. So we did have some first mover advantage, but ultimately our ambition was to create a new sector in the gift market. And I think to do that, you have to, off you have to offer a really exceptional experience, which goes through everything, not only the product, but also in, in our case, it's about service and delivery and all those things too. Um, we also realized that the corporate market was going to be very important for us. Um, our ability to turn around designs really quickly and produce very high quality representations of iconic designs, buildings, logos, and fashions it not only opened up a new market for the business, but it also helped position us right from word go. So we did very early commissions, including a collaboration with Anya Hindmarch, and we do unique designs for outstanding brands like Mulberry, Cartier, Prada, Burberry, and net a -Porter. And in fact, Fashion Foie Gras christened us the net a of biscuits. So corporate gifting, whether to clients or to press, also had the added advantage of doing some of our marketing for us with the benefit of brand endorsement for some incredible luxury brands. Mm -hmm.